Let's start by setting up our scene. Open Blender and delete the default cube by pressing X and choosing Delete. We'll be working with basic shapes to create the arch, so start with a clean slate. Now press Shift A to bring up the Add menu and choose Mesh, Circle. In the popover menu, change the number of vertices to 64 so we end up with smooth geometry. Use R, X, and 90 to rotate the circle around the X axis by 90 degrees so it's in the correct position. Select the circle and hit Tab to enter edit mode. Let's start by using B to box select the bottom half of the vertices. With these vertices selected, use X to delete the selected vertices. Now we'll select the top center vertex of the circle. Use O to turn on proportional editing. Under the proportional editing menu, make sure to select the sharp fall off option. With the top vertex selected, we can begin forming the pointed shape of the Gothic arch. Press G and Z and drag the top center vertex upward. Use the mouse wheel to change the influence of the proportional editing. And don't forget to turn proportional editing off so it doesn't interfere with the rest of the modeling. Use Tab to enter object mode. Use Control A and apply transforms to the arch. Now press Shift A to bring up the Add menu. And choose Mesh and Plane. Select the plane and hit Tab to enter edit mode. Let's start by beveling the vertices. Switch to Vertex Select mode by pressing 1. Use Control Shift B to bevel each of the vertices and use the middle mouse button to add more vertices. Switch to Edge Select mode by pressing 2. Now we'll select the four flat edges and use E and S to scale up the edges. Switch to Face Select mode by pressing 3. Select the faces of the arch profile and delete only the faces. Scale the arch profile to the appropriate size. Use Tab to enter object mode. Use Control A and apply all the transforms. We now need to convert this mesh to a curve. This can be done by right clicking on the mesh and choosing Convert To, then Curve. At this stage, we have our basic shape for the arch. However, to apply the profile, we need to convert the circle to a curve. To do this, right click on the circle and choose Convert To, and then Curve. We're now set to apply the profile we made using the plane. Under the Object Data Properties panel, open the Bevel options. Change the Bevel Geometry option to Object. For the object, choose the plane. 